Hello and welcome to Moto Giant. My name is Don and I make motorcycle adventure camping and cooking videos to help you find your nirvana in the wilderness like I have. Today I will show you how to make one of my staples, spiked ramen. Delicious and wholesome and relatively easy to make. Today I want to show you a new dish that I've been making for quite some time. I think I've probably been making this three, four years now. Three separate ingredients. The main ingredient is just a cheap bag of ramen. No, no need to get the $2, $3 uh, uh, box of ramen, just the cheap 30, 40, 50 cents, wherever you find this. It's a dollar general. Uh, a little bit of cabbage. I would say this is probably a eighth, a tenth of a head of cabbage. Slice of bell pepper. And of course, some quality sausage. This is my Koneka, I love it. Um, you can swap out any of these items for anything you want. Um, I tell you what's really good is scallions or green onions chopped up. I don't even cook them, I just lay them over the top. Uh, texture, that's what we're going for. A little bit of added flavor and texture. These are mainly gonna be your texture. Um, regular ramen is really freaking boring. I've never really enjoyed it. That's what I really enjoyed when they started coming out with those little um, cups of, you know, they had basically bits of stuff like this in there, but nothing special. Just, a you know, a, ba a packet of uh, dried veggies. And I started enjoying that a little bit more because it gave it a little bit more, ta uh, a little bit more color, a little bit more excitement. Uh, but I quickly learned that, uh, you know, that's like three, four, five times as much as a little you know, bag of this, and I was adding this to the to the original blend anyway. So, two dollar, three dollar cup of ramen or Japanese noodles, and I was still adding this to it. So I figured, well, you know, why do I spend all that money? I may even add some spices later to this. But so simple ingredients. Uh, I like my skillet, so I'm using that. But you could cook everything in one dish if you wanted to. You can cook everything in here. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to cut everything up. Stir fry the uh, the sausage, brown it real quick, and then throw everything else in there and just get it get it just a little bit tenderized so we don't have to to cook all that. And then boil water. So you can boil water first. All you need is enough water to cover your noodles. Um, boil it for two or three minutes. Let it sit for another two or three minutes. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil my water in here. Uh, stir fry everything up in here and then add it all into here. Drain the water and then add it all into here. And then it's just gonna be a, a delicious, quick and easy meal that's a whole lot better than ramen and it's probably just as good as anything you'll get at a restaurant. So I like to cut my sausage up into very small pieces because I want to be eating sausage the, with every bite. So, and this is a lot of sausage. You really don't need this much. Just, to, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor and texture. And that's why I like a really good sausage because it really does, it gives it a really good, uh, flavor. Good sausage. You know, the cheap uh, Hillshire Farms and crap like that. That's just, I don't know, it's better than better than hot dogs, but not much. So I do like flavor. And uh, this gives you a lot of flavor and a lot of texture. And I've already started chopping on this, so. But I like really thin slices of my cabbage. So I'm going to thin slice all my cabbage as thin as I can get it. And then I'm probably going to cut it in half, so. So something like this, maybe a little bit more. And then let's see if we can get some really thin slices of this bell pepper. And then I'm going to just chop it up into little tiny chunks once I slice it. So now just, uh, what I would do is just mince all these things up. Just have lots of... Uh, Lots of color, lots of little flavor and texture, and yeah, you know, think little things like this make it make the uh, make the road a little bit nicer. You kind of feel a little bit special. You know, add some sophistication to your journey and your adventure. So first things first, I like to brown my meat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to brown that meat first, and then when it's nice and brown, I have a little layer of. Uh, um, grease in the bottom. I'll add everything else. Just maybe five minutes browning this, and then uh, and then once that's browned, maybe another two or three minutes with the veggies, and then just combine it all. Drain the water, and then combine it all, and then uh, Bob's your uncle. 
Let's get that fire started. So I got my fire going pretty quickly and here I am planting the ground stake next to my fire. And if you have not seen this device yet, it is a Zaldaran grill. And I have abandoned my expensive firebox for this very flexible and easy to use device. Because you simply cannot cook this way on a firebox unless you have two of them or spend twice as long cooking. I will leave a link for the firebox videos and the Zaldaran grill below if you want to check them out. The best thing about the Zaldaran is not only the ease of use, but your ability to quickly control the heat by raising and lowering the grill, allowing you to not only stoke your fire easier, but also moving away from the fire and remove the grill completely. Firebox obviously takes quite a bit of mastery and attention to cook on, while the Zaldaran simply takes some common sense. As I stir the sausage for the first time, I suddenly realized I probably left it a little bit uh, too long. Uh, the uh, sausage kind of got a little bit too dark on one side, but made it really crispy. Uh, but of course, it didn't stick to my GSI skillet. And of course, the water is boiling, and I've got to prepare my noodles once I get the rest of the veggies in here. So it usually takes about the same time to cook the veggies as it does to cook your noodles. So three to five minutes is probably all it takes. Um, but cook to your tenderness. And when you open your packet of ramen, make sure you realize that there's almost always at least one packet inside. And this is your soup base. It's basically some flavoring and salt and other stuff, but uh, you don't want that to, to uh, go into the boiling water and you want to save it for uh, after you drain your water that you cook your noodles in and just make sure you have lots of water enough to cover the noodles uh, you don't want crunchy noodles and I like to break my noodles in half because I have a beard and I don't like slurping and sipping and getting noodles mm. all over my beard uh, it's just not one of my things. I like small bites of noodles. Boil your noodles two to three, four minutes uh, until they're tender. And then at the same time, you can uh, keep your veggies and sausage moving. Should take about the same amount of time to cook both. Pretty simple and easy, as long as you're just paying attention. So I pour most of the water out. I like to put enough water in here to make sure that all the uh, noodles are covered. But then I, I pour, I don't know, most of the water out. So I don't like it real soupy. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically noodle soup. So I like to have a little bit, but you gotta have a little bit to be able to stir your base in, if you're gonna use a base. And I think this is pretty well done. You can see, I'm just gonna pour I'm going to pour the uh, pour the juice off because I've got a little bit of a strainer here. But just, you know, just kind of keep checking on it. So most of the juice is going out. But that's typically how much I leave in there. And that'll give me enough to, to stir the base in. And, you know, most of the time the, the chicken's pretty good. I mean, it's salt and flavoring. It's some kind of a, some kind of a bouillon base. Um, the more expensive you get, the better the flavoring is. But uh, I've also added uh, like uh, Asian spice in here, like Indian or, you know, what, whatever, whatever you want to add in there to make it uh, juice it up a little bit. But just make sure you get your base stirred in there real good before you add your veggies. And these veggies are, these veggies are pretty cooked, so. Just gonna lift everything up here. And you can uh, add as much or as little veggies, veggies as you like. And it's, it's probably gonna turn out pretty good because, you know, number one, it's, uh, you know, it's ramen noodles. It's not gonna be terrible. The more stuff you add to it, the better it becomes. That's my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit back and eat this right now.
And the only other thing I would suggest that you add to your noodles is maybe some uh, sriracha. And there's hundreds of brands. I've got a couple of bottles of this stuff. Um, usually carry some kind of hot sauce with me because you never know. You never know what you're going to run into. So, bon appetit. Yeah, that's why I carry a big jug of peppers because I like a lot of pepper. I like a lot of flavor. I like a little bit of heat, a lot of flavor. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Now, got a baked potato for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, however long it takes. I'm willing to wait because it's so delicious. Join me next time and I will show you how to cook chicken over a fire without burning it.